During this section, we'll talk about the React Redux ecosystem. What are the top complaints about Redux? One of the most common is that Redux is hard to learn, and the other is that it forces you to write down a lot of boilerplate in order to get going. The objective of this course is to address the former, and in this particular section, we'll focus on the latter. Today, let's talk about Emer. Emer is a library built by Michelle Westrate, creator of MobX, that simplifies the way we deal with immutability in JavaScript. Let's check some code examples. So for this video, let's pick the example application we were using last section. I added a new feature that allows the user to rename each item in all columns. Let's try it for a second. As you can see, we can rename the leagues, teams, and members. If we go through the code, you'll notice that, that I added three more actions. All of these actions use the update list in state helper function to keep it dry. And I also added three more test cases. As you can see, tests are passing, yay. Now I want to show you how can we use Emer to simplify the logic in all of the actions of this reducer. To use Emer, we need to import the fault function and call it produce. It's not necessarily needed to call it produce, but it's the convention. Produce has the following signature. It receives the state as first parameter and a function as the second parameter. This function is passed a draft as an argument. The draft contains a proxy copy of the state. The idea behind Emer is to mutate the draft. All of the mutations to the draft will be transformed to immutable side effects and returned by the produce function. Let's check some of the action cases. As you can see, in set active lib, we're assigning new values directly, and this removes a lot of immutability boilerplate. Also, in add member, we got rid of add to list in state helper function. We no longer need it, given that we can simply use dot push to add an item. Lastly, in update team name, we're still using the update list in state helper function, but the implementation changed to just find the correct item and mutate it. That's all we need. Now let's go back to the tests for a second. We got rid of these two helper functions, so let's disable those tests. The rest should be the same, so let's just change the import declaration and try it again. There we go, all green, great news. We managed to refactor the reducer and get rid of a lot of boilerplate. 